Half bottom introductory price of two million dollars. The number to call is one eight hundred Star Wars. Don't miss this amazing once in a. <laughs> What? <laughs> what? Well? Look at that sucker go. He just keeps running and running and running. I'll use the chronogen. <laughs>
Excuse me. Yes? Mr. President, may I offer you an excellent smoke? Can you also provide me with a light? Sure. Well, in that case... You can find those for me, will you? There's a good lad. Could you use these? Why, thank you, young man. Strange. I wonder if I should cut down on the coffee. Hey, Tom, look! The father of our nation is cold. Better build a fire. You're right. Huh? I guess you can have my log. Me? Why should I build the fire? You build the fire. I'm bothered by the smoke. You build the fire. I'm bothered by your attitude. You build the fire. No, you build the fire, Mr. Penmanship. No, you build the fire, log lover. No, you build the fire. No, you build the fire. You big baby. How about an amendment that the president has to be a human being? Please, this is serious business. You're right. the idiot who started the fire. I bet this never happens to Tom Paine. I hope everyone's okay. I bet this never happens to Tom Paine. Uh, excuse me? Leave me alone. I'm too depressed to talk. 
I wonder what idiot started the fire. I bet this never happens to Tom Paine. I hope everyone's okay. I hope we can get back to work soon. I don't think I can forge Dr. Fred's signature. Some kind of legal mumbo jumbo. I don't wanna. It looks pretty clear in here now. Say, did you get the pen on our way out? No, I. I found a blanket blocking the chimney. Son, do you know anything about a blanket? Uh, didn't the dude next to you have one earlier? Uh... Uh, hey, catch you later. Excellent. I need that for my super battery. Ah, excellent. I need that for my super battery. element for my ingenious battery. Stand back, boy. Give me room to work. Modern science, it will look lovely here on the shelf until I take it with me to Baltimore. Don't look now, but the British are coming, dude. Eh? Where? Is that supposed to be funny? I'm very busy.
I don't want it. You're also hard to please. I got something good for you, mister. Uh, mister? Mr. Brainstorm? Yes, hand it over. Hmm, doesn't this belong to somebody? Yeah, Red Edison. Ah. I'm sorry, but the man has no vision. A lightweight, durable fabric like this going to waste down in his basement. When I'm done with it, it will fly. Hmm. Eureka! The all-season Francocopter, ready to make history! No, there's no fuse! So, what do I light? For the last time, you're not going to light anything! You just push it! The whole time? How am I going to get up that high? Listen, just wait for me to say the word now! Then push the kite into the air, all right? I'm on you, lasagna. Let's hope so. Now! Now! Now, in the name of science, now! We. She's handling kind of funny. You got it. Just hang on there. She's too heavy. I can't control her. Hang on, Ben. Hang on. She's breaking up. She's breaking up. Run for your life. Now that was interesting. Yeah. Say, can I see that kite for a second? No, I'm taking it back to my lab in Philly right now so I can study the results. Wish me luck. I never got your name. It's Hoagie, sir. Nice working with you, Hoagie. I promise to name an invention after you someday. Gosh, thanks. My one chance of getting out of here? Yeah. Flush my one chance of getting out of here? Yeah. I got the contract for you to sign, Doctor. Sorry, I don't like to sign things that I haven't read. Oh, 
Oh, forget it. I'll get rid of Purple Tentacle myself. Oh, yeah? How? I'm getting Purple Tentacle declared insane and arrested. That's a good idea. But I need a note signed by a doctor. Oh. Hey, I'm a doctor. We're in luck. Well, good luck. Yes, what do you want? Hi there, is this Dr. Fred Edison? Who did you think you called? Dr. Spock? Look, I don't have all day. This is Farley Crock at LucasArts Games. I just discovered your contract among some very old files, and, well, our lawyers say that we, uh, have to pay you two million dollars in back royalties. Uh, for the use of your family in the Maniac Mansion video game. What? This is Farley Crock. No, I heard that, you moron. When do I get my money? Oh, right now. It's been credited to your Swiss bank account. Operator, get me a travel agent. This is an emergency. I want to buy a diamond. That will be two million dollars. Do you have a major credit card? Um, I have a numbered Swiss bank account. What's the number, sir? Um, it's 846-427-35327. Very good, sir. We'll send the diamond by Pronto Post Lightspeed Delivery immediately. Thank you for calling. Now that service. I better get this to Dr. Fred right away. That should do it. Where did you get this diamond anyway? Uh, it was donated by a group of Girl Scouts who were in the neighborhood. How heartwarming. According to my instruments, everything is in readiness. Your friends have activated their units, so it's time to throw the switch! Great! Poggy! I'm so happy to... Hi! Laverne! Wow! 
I'm so glad you two made it back okay. I hate to interrupt, but there's no time to lose. Now that you're back, we've got to proceed with the original plan and send you back to yesterday to turn off the Slagomatic. Huh? Say what? Now hold on a minute, Dr. Fred. They just barely made it back to our time alive, and I think... <laughs> you can't turn off the machine if I get there first. Uh-oh. Don't worry, guys. This time I know I can stop him. Uh-oh. I guess we better do something. Let's go. No, wait! You can't all go in the same stall! Didn't you see the fly? We're... We're... We're some kind of monster, dudes. Great. Stuck here the rest of my life, listening to Bernard talking and watching Hoagie eat. Mom warned me there'd be days like this. Now wait just a minute. <laughs> it's Green Tentacle. What was that, Green? <laughs> what? I believe he's trying to warn you about me. Oh. We're going to turn off the sludge matic and defeat your evil plan, overgrown worm. You sorry lot are no match for me. But there's three of us. Well, sort of. Nevertheless, I mean to crush you. Yeah? You and what army? Why, this army, of course. Yikes. You see, I've been busy. These are all versions of myself from the future. I've been bringing them back here using the Chronogon. Together, we will conquer the world. You ten there. Go to the basement and guard the sludge o the sludge matic Now, creature, I must decide what excruciating tortures to... Leave them to me. I've been itching for a chance to test out my newly completed diminuator. Uh-oh. Excuse me. Um, us. <laughs> All right, the rest of you come with me. Next stop, the world. What do we do now? Aha! Run for it! Damn. The battery must not have had time to recharge, but it will. Shh! Maybe he won't find us. You who? Where are you, human? There, I think I've almost got it working. If only the hardware store carried larger batteries. Aha! Uh-oh. Take that. And this. Drat. Perhaps if I readjust the static phrase dynamo again.
lasted. Aha! Uh oh. Take that. <laughs> and this. Drat. If only the hardware store carried larger batteries. Where'd he go? Great! Now we can turn off the machine and prevent all this tentacle mayhem from ever happening. Well, I'm certainly glad that's over with. Yeah, let's get out of here. Leaving so soon, we haven't had the chance to get to know one another. Your efforts are so tiny. <laughs> Eek! Run all you like, you insignificant insect. <laughs> the human race is doomed. I've already won. We've got to go save the world now. My other selves are taking over the world as we speak. <laughs> Just what is it you have against humans, anyway? Humans are our oppressors. They made us live in this horrible motel. They created us in ungainly forms, so we could not rise against them. Try walking around with your legs tied together and glue on your shoes, you'll see what I mean. Sounds like that's all Dr. Fred's fault, really. Hmm, I suppose you're right about that. I didn't start out hating all humans, just Dr. Fred. You're pretty handy with that ray gun. Center of the forehead every time. Would you like a demonstration? Why don't you zap Dr. Fred if you hate him so much? Hmm, perhaps that would be entertaining. Oh, drat. Hmm, surely we can talk this out. Talk? Surely. Wait! You haven't heard the last of me. I'll be back, and the next time, the world and all its pippling inhabitants shall be mine. All mine! <laughs> 
all mine. Okay, little fella. Mail this to Siberia. Our work here is done. Now we can go home. Well, kiddies, it's been more fun than a jumpsuit full of weasels. Now, kindly get your freakish hide out of my home. Please, Dr. Fred, you've got to get us out of this mess. We look terrible, and we can't buy clothes off the rack. I'm getting sort of used to it. Maybe we could go on the talk show circuit. Help us, Dr. Edison. You're our only hope. Oh, all right. Hmm. you imagined. You're just three complete goofballs stuck in one suit of clothes. I'm glad that's taken care of. Looks like everything's back to normal. <laughs> <laughs>